In 305 BC, the island of Rhodes in the Mediterranean successfully fought off an invasion. To commemorate the victory, the people of the island decided to erect a huge statue to their patron god, Helios. Today, nobody is exactly sure how the statue was posed. Did he hold a torch aloft or simply look out to sea? The only thing we know for sure is that the statue did not stand with his legs stretched across the harbor entrance as was depicted in many medieval drawings. Not only would such a pose be considered awkward for a god, construction would require that the harbor be shut down, an economic impossibility. Most likely the statue was located near the harbor entrance or perhaps on a breakwater. Standing a hundred foot high on top of a fifty foot marble pedestal, its bronze plating over an iron skeleton would have shone brightly in the sunlight. It would have been visible to ships many miles at sea. It was the pride of the city and had taken twelve years to build. The people of Rhodes thought it would stand forever. Sadly, only 56 years after it had been erected, an earthquake rocked the island and the statue collapsed. The people, fearing they had somehow offended the god, decided not to rebuild it. Its remains littered the ground where it had fallen for centuries, until it was finally sold and hauled away for scrap. <laughs>